This time I'm talking this video, we're looking at discovering and developing drugs. So first of all, we need to know what are the properties of a good medicine. As a good medicine is effective, so it must prevent or cure a disease, or at least make you feel better. Safe, in other words, the drug cannot be too toxic or have too many side effects. Stable, which means that you must be able to take the medicine under normal conditions and store it, and successfully taken in and out of your body. So it must reach its target and then be removed from the body. Now, developing a new medicine can take up to 12 years and it can cost up to 350 million pounds. Researchers target a disease and they make lots of possible drugs. So these are tested in a laboratory to see if they are toxic and if they do their job. So they are tested on cells, tissues and whole organs. Now, many chemicals fail at this stage. The next step is to test the drug on live animals to see if a drug gives the wanted effect. So if a drug passes the test on animals, it's tested on human volunteers in a clinical trial. So the drug is tested on healthy volunteers and a very low dose is given and this is gradually increased. So if the result from these tests are good, they can be tested on ill patients to find the optimum dose. There is also something called a double blind trial which we need to know about now. As in human trials, doctors use the technique of a double-blind trial to test how effective the medicine is. So in a double-blind trial, what happens is patients who have the disease are either given the placebo that doesn't contain the new medicine, or they are given the actual drug. Now neither the patient nor the doctor knows who has the placebo and who has the actual drug. The patient health is then monitored closely to see if there is a difference between those who took the placebo and those who took the actual drug. And there can also be things like a single blind trial as well, where the patients don't know, but the doctors do know. Now there is examples of where it has gone wrong. So for example, thalidomide, and in the 1950s, thalidomide was developed as a sleeping pill. And this was before there were agreed standards for testing new medicine. Now it was then discovered that thalidomide stopped morning sickness during pregnancy. However, thalidomide wasn't safe for the fetus and many of the babies were born with significant limb deformities and the thalidomide tragedy led to the New Medicines Act in 1968. So that's one example of when testing and developing drugs has not worked and there has been many bad consequences. So thank you for watching this video and see you soon. Bye.